Hello guys and welcome back, I'm um, Dodo Angelo aka Punisher Kingdom 108 and in this video I want to talk about defensive damage how um, to increase it and I'll try to calculate more or less how much you can get with everything done so first thing first we all know research in the college under city defense you can find um, the non rally defensive damage it can go up to 5% then you have the non rally defensive damage taken reduction that goes up to 5 then we have the loophole that is defensive damage up to 5% and we have the battlement 4 that you get defensive damage taken reduction again up to 5% Uh, then we have uh, under the medical treatment we have two things to research here you get uh, under precise loophole 10 percent of DD <laughs> Let's call it like that. And precise battlements, you get DDTRR. And that's 10% uh, of a reduction. And that's about it under the, um, the college. Next thing on research is, is the, the Sage Tower. not the sacred tower the sage tower you go under analyze and you have the um, book of eternal life you get the razor that's 10% then uh, you have uh, the barrier that gives you uh, defensive damage taken reduction 10% then under um, the book of balance on the second page you can find um, defensive damage taken reduction and defensive damage I think it's 10% each on the maximum the thing is that in order to, to um, have it all you need to finish all these this one this one this one this one basically all of them and except this in order to get for example infantry defense a hundred percent you need to finish infantry defense on the first page so basically all you have to do is do all the first page then move on the second one or do it like 10% each but for this one you need 60% uh, of uh, siege engine health archer health infantry health cavalry health archer defense siege engine defense so basically until you get 60% on each you can't start to uh, to do a percentage on this one that's kind of expensive but hey better than nothing then uh, some other research is it in the ancestral spirit and here we have on each civilization on on slaughter page of each you have defensive damage and defensive damage reduction 
which probably will be 5% on each if uh, we go no. yeah 5% per, per 5 civilization that's 25% of each then uh, under Huaxia under Huaxia on the Huaxia 6 secret teaching you have defensive damage that can be maxed to 16% so only the defensive damage this time And after that, the Dragon Glass. I'm using the Dragon Glass 28 because I got gold on it. If you get gold on 35, I think the bonus is better. It's it's orange 22.4, and on 28 I have. Uh, 26.10 so here um, there is basically some of us can have it higher some of us can have it lower let's say you can get around 25% to be able to do the, the calculations and defensive damage taken again if you're lucky and get two golds you need to spend a lot of of crystals on 28th on, uh, on 35 you spend gold to to puri purify on 28 you spend you spend crystal so that's why i'm using the 28th because i'd rather spend some crystals that some gold let's say again if you get gold you get around 25% on the damage taken reduction after the dragon glass the charm you can get up to 5% of damage taken reduction and uh, defensive damage If you donate enough flowers, well, up, well, until you reach level ten, here it 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 says um, well, it doesn't show. But last week I I got four percent and four percent each, because I didn't finished to level ten. I was up to level eight of charm. And this week I didn't start it yet, and probably the, since it's the last day of the week I won't probably get any defensive damage and defensive damage uh, reduction for next week which will be awful because it's kingdom versus kingdom so yeah I'll probably need to send some flowers and I will uh, the next thing we have the ruins you all know about the ruins um, the the buffs change every every time in hundred in kingdom 108 this week the atlantis has the defensive damage it's three percent and defensive damage taken uh the three percent so we add a three to each then uh, we have the red dragon which garrison gives you bonuses again here can differ depending on your dragon level depending on your uh, skills what skills did you put on um,
this one here gives you 15% the sanguineous fever upgraded to level 10 it's 50 15 percent of uh, defensive damage then um, the sanctuary blessing you get a 25 percent uh, defensive uh, defense damage taking reduction then um, I don't know if you can uh, put more because once you have the defense damage and defense damage a reduction a taken reduction I don't think you you are able to change another skill and put the same I I think I tried no no I know I tried and I couldn't so basically those are my bonuses um and um here are the bonuses as you can see Then after the dragon, uh, next thing is the the print the prince. You can find it here. Orion, you need to check to check for Orion. It's very expensive to upgrade, but you will get up to five percent each i think yeah up to five percent each of damage uh, de uh, defensive damage and defensive damage taken reduction then uh, the magic books more you upgrade your magic books more um, defensive damage you get um, here in this corner you can find out uh, exactly your um, your bonuses my bonus is 2.5 percent and zero and you can have maximum of 6.5 percent and four percent 6.5 and four Basically, what you have to do is upgrade. Um, when you go to upgrade your um, your books, you just uh, go and look if it gives you defensive damage and defensive damage taken. So, uh, freezing of water five gives you this. F freezing of water four doesn't give you. Oh yes, it gives defensive damage, but the the free. already starts to not give so basically four and five of freezing water defensive ice gives offensive damage we will talk in another video about offensive damage and where to get it and how to get it and how to increase it so basically what you need to do is look on each um, each book and see which ones gives you defensive damage if you're working on your defensive damage and upgrade those books as much as possible and you can get up to 6.5 of defensive damage and 4% defensive damage reduction after that we'll have the dragon ward I use smite because I already got it and gives you 22% damage taking reduction and 20% defensive damage the best one though is got above that gives 27% on each but of course it's very expensive I'm 4.4 million grapheme stones away from it but it's it's very hard to get if you don't have uh got the both and neither the smite you can um 
use um, fortification is one of them yes gives you 17 percent or seventh rung award sharp deterrence that gives you 15 percent of each and after um, the dragon ward the traps the new traps soon as i find them because i i changed my civilization and i'm not used to to this one yet uh, where are the traps oh here uh, details oh not here on build you have the toxic gas if you have 150,000 traps you get a maximum of 15 percent defensive damage as you can see I have 75,000 and some and I have 7.57 then equipment under equipment there are some things that you might want to use um, for the the hero I'm using the holy shield as guardian with a guard um, guard set on it blue plus 10 that gives me um, 5.12 defensive damage 5.12 defensive damage taken then some more 5.1 defensive damage taken and 7.7 .7 defensive damage that's 12% defensive damage and 10% defensive defensive damage taken Again, if you have gold and plus 10, you can get um, way more more attributes than, than this, way better numbers. I'm, I'm not sure and I didn't saw anyone that has a gold guard set plus 10. So I'm not sure exactly how much the bonus will be since one since this one is blue and you get 12% I would say on gold you'll get around 30% defensive damage and 30% defensive damage taken again I'm not sure Uh, from the hero, I'm using uh, the Holy Shield because in under his uh, skills that you have, um, after using the skill, you get defensive damage 10% and 10% of defensive damage reduction. And under talents, you have uh, increased defensive damage 1%, 2%, four 6%. So basically when you have it upgraded enough, you get a 6% of defensive damage damage and in the attributes you get um, you can get defensive damage defensive damage taken and if you're lucky enough you can get free defensive damage for example and that's uh, 2.1 percent when you max out that's why the numbers can't be exact numbers because 
it differs, differs if you can get gold on equipment, if it differs if you have 10 plus 10 on equipment, on enhancing your equipment, uh, depends on your hero if it's high enough, depends, depends of many things and on the skills and depending on the it's always depending 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 after the hero um you, you can use on your lord the archangel set to get attack bonuses but for defending um one particular equipment you need is the Archangel Shingward oh no 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 for, for legs for legs sorry my bad Arca Archangel Leg Guard that you can uh, you can get defensive damage and defensive damage taken and again if you're lucky you can get free defensive damage and you get up to five point seven almost six percent on defensive damage on the Arch archangel leg guard and six per depending again depending on how much you enhance it per ten you get Six per uh, around twelve percent of defensive damage. From your uh, your leg guard, Archangel leg guard. Then the other the one the other ones. It's uh, pretty hard to choose. You can go either with the guard set for all of them, and you get. The, the bonus from having six pieces and hopefully you get go, uh, gold and plus 10 and you get around 25-30% which I think is not bad but since you get that uh, I would use like four pieces of of, uh, of uh, let me go let me let me let me change on defense no, I'm using uh, six pieces of guard because my archangel is not my archangel leg guard is not um, doesn't give me enough points to 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 use it. And then there was the armor I think that can give you. I'm not sure which armor I was going with or boots no not even boots maybe a helmet Uh, I was seeing I, that I have building speed plus 10 on Archangel Helmet. I don't understand why they put these bonuses there. This one is an attacking an attacking um, equipment and why in the hell you put building speed and science research speed and I, I, don't, I don't understand why. Probably to, to make you not get the, the proper bonuses that you need on, on equipments um, so yeah yeah probably the best option is to use the guard set on your Lords too but will decrease a lot your your attack bonuses so um, I'm not sure let me let me know what you guys think about it 
and if you have better better option please let me know because i'm i'm struggling to to increase this defensive damage i got to a maximum 180 percent of defensive damage and 186 percent of defensive damage taken reduction with the guard set on both lord and uh, and holy shield but my stats were decreasing a lot meaning instead of having a thousand infantry attack and defense i was having like 600 infantry attack and defense uh, the cavalry instead of a thousand and a hundred attack and 980 defense i was having 700 or something like that the, the the stats are decreasing very bad but it's increasing the defensive damage and the defense of of your soldiers i didn't try it yet in combat uh, i'm still trying to to figure out uh, this increasing my my stats a bit especially the defensive damage now because i'm working on defense on my on my castle so soon as i have some updates i will make another video to 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 give you some more info some more hints about how the equipment on lord and your hero after equipments oh the armor of omnipotence i found it <laughs> uh, the armor of omnipotence it gives you um some um, some more defensive damage and again if it's gold if it's plus 10 you'll get better than 4.42 defensive damage and you can use four pieces of guard shield or guard set plus armor of omnipotence and uh, the um, archangel leg guard i will do a video using those and see how how the castle is is going how the how everything is going then uh, we're not done yet we still have some things to do the artifact the best for defensive damage is friar's crown you can get up to uh, 20 i think yeah 20 percent defensive damage and 20 percent defensive damage reduction I'm still working on it as you can see it's expensive those promotion stones aren't cheap <laughs> my current stats is defensive damage 19 point uh, reduction 19.2 and defensive damage 19.2 I'm close to, to 20 close but not close enough <laughs> then um, we have the hero and some more thing about the expansions the turrets if you expand the turret 30 on each level and after that with black stones and use the gold stones on on this particular one on this one on each turret you can get uh, other five percent of defensive damage this thing i didn't knew about it until today that i was going through expanding i had some black stones and i didn't knew exactly where to expand so i went through all of them and i was uh, trying to to figure out which one gives some defensive damage if there's one and i found that the two reds each one gives five percent each so that's a ten percent on each uh, uh, if you have the both uh, both turrets expanded at maximum and now 
I'm gonna pause a bit until I, I calculate more or less and I'll let you know exactly exactly more or less how many how many um, points you get on defensive damage and defensive damage um, taken okay I'm back I remembered that we have an option to see how much you can get and it's here the maximum defensive damage in game is 348.5 percent but obviously you need everything gold everything plus 10 everything upgraded max and for now if you have 190 200 your castle is pretty good on defending and defensive damage reduction goes up to 288.4 again if you manage to to have good good money <laughs> and um, you have everything upgraded and up to to date you you will get pretty amazing defensive so as I said, I managed to get my castle up to 180. I'm still having plenty of researches to do and I'm gonna be there hopefully soon. Hopefully. So basically, um, this is how you get your defensive damage. And of course, I forgot about one thing that you can add you can find it under workshop the alchemy workshop and you get these things here again if you have orange which is gold <laughs> um, you can get the defensive damage up to 8% and if you upgrade I think it's up to 10% on this War defensive damage and 10% on war defensive damage taken reduction. These are um, items that you can use, lasts for one hour and consumes um, ancient potion, rune gems, ship scrolls, essence of element. And um, with this button here, you can up to twice and you get more chances to to get them better and just going through my ca castle again and through my mind to see if I didn't forget anything but I don't think so probably they're gonna insert some more equipment and I don't know but for now this is what you can do to upgrade your uh, defensive damage see you in the next video guys and leave a comment if you wanna see about something else or if you enjoyed if you have any ideas about how to increase it if you have better equipment let me let me know what uh, what you guys think thanks and see you again